Hello everyone. In today's video, we'll be discussing on a few more things on the on the master items. So one is being your drill down, and the second thing is suppose you want to give a particular color to a particular chart. So what happens is whenever you create a bar chart, there are you know issue, there are some limitations that you can give some specific color which is present in your bar chart. This has been you know continuously uh, told by my students to me. So for example, if I go here and I pull a bar chart, okay. So I pull a bar chart and I want to create a, you know, I'll pull a country name and then I'll pull, uh, for example, count of customers. Okay, count of customers. If I pull, I can get to see only two kinds of, you know, one kind of, you know, color over here. Uh, and then if I want to change that color, I can go very well go to go down to the color change the or the color set by dimension measures you know and then we can uh, then we can make it by expressions also but what happens is uh, what's going to happen is you have some set of colors you know present over here how to change that particular thing into you know different colors you can do it using a uh, you know, master items okay so how to do that i'm going to show you now okay a second thing and the second important thing is the drill down. So what do you mean by, mean by drill, drill down is you can create a branch. Okay, how to create a branch, mm, a clear meaning of it. Suppose you click on a continent and it's gonna, you know, split it into uh, the countries belongs to that continent. Then you click on a particular country, it's gonna split it on states and then on particular cities. So that branch to create that particular branch, you have to use a drill. Okay. So we're going to see how it can be done. Okay. So first of all, I have taken a small data of country states and customer. Okay. So what are we going to do is we're going to create a city clicking on the particular city. It's going to drill down to its particular state. So I have taken only two stage of drills. You can, you know, have as many drills you want to create. Okay. So I'm going to load this data. Okay. And let's see. Yeah, it got loaded. I'll go here in the front page and go to the second sheet. So this is the basic, uh, basically this is the, the sheet which I have used it in the previous section. I want to show you if I make any change in a particular dimension, it's going to reflect in other charts as well. Okay. So what I have changed over here is instead of having a sales in my measure, okay, in the back end, I have changed it to a, uh, uh, into a customer. Okay. So how to make that reflection over here? I'll go to my, you know, master items, go to my measures So see, I can go to edit here. Okay. And instead of having a sales over there, what I can do is I can write a count of customer. Okay. So I can go count of, okay. Sorry, everything went. Customers. And and then I'll put a count. Okay. Now, if you want to change the uh, what you call ch change the you know labels, you can do that. But I'm I'm just showing you showing you that changing on that particular value, it got reflected in both the charts. Okay. So I can I can do a edit on my you know tags as well as you know, in your names label as well. I'm not doing that. Okay. So if you want to put a specific color to, uh, uh, to a particular measure, what you can do is you can go to this measure colors. You can put a particular color of it. Okay. So you do not have to, you know, get, um, you know, stick to the color, which click has given to you. Okay. You can see that color has been changed. Okay. So this can, um, so the, uh, apart from this, I want to show you the drill. So how to do that drill is simple. You can go to the dimension. Okay, create a new drill. You can click on this particular drill. Now you have to place it by order of drill. So my first thing will be country and then it should be my states. So I'm going to click on those two. Then I'll just name it as C O U N T R Y country to state S T A S T A T state drill. Okay, you can name it anything. I want to name it in this way. Want to give some particular color. You can give it over here also. So I'll give this particular color green. Okay. And then tag it, add it, create. That's all. So now whenever I go here, 
So I'll go to another chart. I just want to show you. So it, you do not have to get restricted to this color since I have given green. It can come green as well. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this particular drill over here or the dimension over here. I'm going to pull this particular drill. So you can see a small arrow getting created over here that tells you that it's a drill. So the moment you click that, it's going to create a drill. Now you will be wondering why the color has is still a, still blue in color. Why the green color has not reflected? Very well, you can go to ap appearance, change this customer color to auto color. It's going to show you the color what you have given over there. Okay. Now the drill thing is now if you make it done, I click on India and select. So it's going to drill it to my other two states. Okay. So basically I have the same data over there count of customers. Okay. So uh, let me check what I have given for the data. So I have given a count of customer. It should be, uh, you know, sum of customers. So what I'm going to do is I'll quickly go here, edit my, what you call um, my measure over here, go here instead of count, I'm going to put a measure. So you can go here, select the measure. So it's going to give me the measure. Okay. So similarly, you, what you can do is you can select, you can clear the selection. You can go to us and you can see us states being reflected over here. So this is how you drill down. You can have n number of drill down in your chart and um, you can make a proper visualization uh, as per the requirement. So that's all in this video. Thank you. Have a nice day.